All right, let's talk about the seat controls available to the driver and passenger of the vehicle. You've got a tilt up, tilt down for the front of the seat. You've got a tilt up and a tilt down for the rear of the seat. You can also bring the seat forward, of course, bring the seat backwards. You can also recline, this, recline the seat or bring up the seat. And then I do want to call out this circular button right here. This circular button controls the lumbar support. You can bring the lumbar lower. You can bring the lumbar higher. You can make the lumbar st stronger, or you can make the lumbar lighter. And all these controls are available to both the driver and passenger. However, the driver's profiles are saved to the driver profile of the vehicle. I do want to call out the driver's side door controls here. This is the only door with all four window controls. The window controls are one touch raise and lower windows, which is handy. To open the door, it's via this electronic switch right up here at the top. By pressing this button, it will release the door and allow you to open the door. Now the one key call out here is the emergency lever that's located right up here. It's right above the window switches. It can be easily reached in and pulled up on. This can be found on both the driver and passenger side door. So it is very important that you educate anyone sitting in the passenger seat to not pull that lever. That lever is meant to only be used in case of emergency and of loss of power. Of loss of power, the electronic switch to open the door will not work, thus meaning you would need to utilize the manual lever to release the door. Keep that in mind and remember to try not to use that.